Hey folks, Kalithian here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play a Little Big Farmer. We're going to continue and finish um, at least the very next objective level. We may not play until Master, because I think that might be a little too time-consuming. But one of the things I noticed here is that um, if we look at our company, our profit per pill is the lowest on our itchy eyes go away. Now, this is a level 1 cure, so it's never going to really... Uh, generate that much profit. Although one thing to note is note how the I Dream of Brussels, which has no side effects, or actually has a higher um, concentration sweet spot, is indeed making a higher profit than our Brussels Unbroken Sleep. Um, the uh, I Dream of Brussels takes a little bit more processing to get into the sweet spot, but it's got a higher cure rating. Also, as we continue to um, upgrade our machinery to make each machine be a little less pricey uh, to operate, it becomes more and more. Uh, meaningful to go and upgrade things further. And with that in mind, the itchy eyes go away. I'm going to see if we might be able to increase the concentration and therefore increase our uh, progress. So right now, this is a very simple little uh, uh, production line right over here. Um, we take this in, we just bump up the concentration by one level to activate the antihistamine, also activate the dry mouth, and then export it. Now, luckily, we're still quite far away from the maximum strength of the dry mouth, but we're really not optimizing our antihistamine over here. Now, we have a limited amount of space, although it might be possible to move this production line a little bit further out of the way. We're going to go ahead and I think I'm just going to move this for now. Uh, move you out of the way. I'm going to put a um, an agglomerator in here instead. And because of the shape of the agglomerator, I guess that works pretty well. So... We start at a 1, our sweet spot is at a 5, this will bring us to a 4. Can I fit this back in anywhere? Not sure that we can without like further disrupting of our line. Um, I might be able to do that and move the pill processing? Mm, no. No. I'd have to move everything else. Still, it might be worth doing. Because there's no reason... Yeah, I can easily move these guys over like that. I'd move them so far over to try to give more room to the other line. But the other line doesn't actually need that space. But, I mean, this line down here. So we can do that. Which means now, all of a sudden, I will have space for things. I will have to move the actual pill packers Invalid away. Invalid position. Huh? Invalid position. I don't know what it was conflicting with. Oh, with the exit of the other one. Right. Because I can do something like this. And then take these guys. Like that. And like that. So now we'll get a maximum concentration. Like so. Okay. Now, in the meantime, we can take a look at this line, which has been sitting idle for quite some time. Uh, it is currently ready to go. It needed the cryogenic whatchamacallits, which we have it over here. Doubles concentration. And we're not really using it to double the concentration. We're just using it to process things. In fact, it'll bring the concentration too high. It'll bring it up to a full 20, and then we'll have to give it a minus 3. Ideally, a minus 5. There's no sense in dropping the concentration now, I don't think. Can't remove that. Uh, we need the vomiting to be there for now. Dry mouth, well, we're never going to go that low, so it's going to be a non-issue. So I guess what we're going to do is just bring it through here. Okay. Processing times two. Product name required. New product. There we go, which is much stronger. Um, here. Allergy away is fine. Pause. All right, so what do we have here? Irene concentration. Oh, we have to bring the anxiety all the way down here? For that to be active, which will reactivate induce vomiting and dry mouth we can never get rid of dry mouth though and we're going to be really far away from its sweet spot induced vomiting we can get rid of with an autoclave now if we're really lucky the autoclave has concentrate god this no wonder 
No wonder this is such an expensive freaking cure that we're working on. It's really expensive because it needs a lot of high-end stuff. I am currently researching the autoclave, but it's going to take a while. Should have started sooner. So this production line is so far away, but I didn't know that going into it because I can't see, like, necessarily all the steps. Or maybe I suppose I could because I could have gone here and seen the target concentration. So here I need a very high concentration, and I know I need the cryogenic condenser. So I should know that this will bring me up to a concentration of 20%. And then I'll know that I have to bring it down a whole lot. Now, I guess I don't... I don't need the autoclave. The autoclave is convenient because it'll cut this down from a 20 to 10 in one step, which is a really nice way to, to bring it down really quickly. Um, it also removes the induces vomiting, which to me, I think vo inducing vomiting is a really bad thing to have in a drug that's supposed to reduce anxiety. So I think it will be good if we do it with via an autoclave as opposed to a bunch of, um, um, what do you call it, dissolvers or ionizers, for example. So yeah, we will just continue to hold tight. Now, this thing, we actually don't know the sweet spot for remove anxiety. So let's go and analyze it. Now. Technically, it means we're going to be, you know, running things and, and paying a lot of money for it. But I, I like to know the information. Now, it does suck that, you know, this multi-mixer means everything else is only working half the time. Ideally, it would be nice to have two multi-mixers in a row here. We might actually end up, and oh, although we'd also need two cryogenic condensers, and I suspect two autoclaves. So no, I don't think it's going to be possible to run at twice the rate. But one thing we could do is we could just siphon off some of this stuff. Like, well, we don't have an output for it. But we could just split off and use half of these as an alleviates insomnia, for example, right? Or, or something of that nature. I guess we won't do it right now. Uh, so this is working well. And presumably should be making more money than the old itchy eyes go away. Actually, the profit is lower, but it probably hasn't had its full rating upgrade. I bet you it'll go up to at least a B, which will help. And again, as we do research that brings down the cost of the machines involved in those processes, then it becomes cheaper and cheaper to continue to upgrade them, which is good. What am I doing? Oh, the drug packer, right. So I have picked up the creamer, which is something. And then we've got the drug packer as well. And, um... Desert expeditions. Actually, potentially, the sooner I pick up planning permission and this, it only saves like a little bit on purchase plot, uh, purchase prices, which aren't that high anyway, so it's fine. But this will unlock some new potential ingredients. I am very slowly using my explorer. I've, I've picked up one to work out a few upgrades here. There we go, two points. We're using a fair amount of cloud fruit. I'll go ahead and get the second level of that. That's going to be fine. Mostly we're waiting for more research to kick in. Um, and yeah, this space is fine, as long as it's something that's just a simple in and out. Which we might... Do we have one of those that's not being used yet? Yeah, we could go all the way to treat angina. On that production line. So let's do that. You. Analysis complete. Okay, the sweet spot for reduces anxiety. Hold on. Now let me get rid of that machine so we don't just keep eating all of our pills or all of our um, supply. I'm doing analysis over here. So, oh, well, it's a good thing we're removing vomiting because it's at exactly the same level as anxiety. So we'll remove vo vomiting. Dry mouth will still be a side effect, um, but we'll be very far away from its target. But we know we're going to try to hit four with the with this thing here. Anyway, um, you are supposed to get the release uh, or relieves hypertension. We're going to import you. Ionizer, ionizer, both remove them. We have to get it quite high to remove all these side effects, though. Um, and actually, the dizziness, if we're at the sweet spot for hypertension. Oh, no, we want to bring it up. It needs to run through an ionizer oh, at low levels. It's currently at a seven. This is actually very inconvenient. So, okay, we'll run it through one level of dissolver. And then an ionizer. It's upgraded. But, hang on, pause.
what is the next level? So this will upgrade to Angina. What is Angina's concentration? Somewhere between 6 to 12. So we can safely be outside of the dizziness without removing it. It'll still cause sleepiness unless we then process it with an ionizer, or at some point process it with an ionizer at a high concentration. I'm wondering... It's at a 7. So, if we want the absolute best stuff we can do, we can run it through a condenser. Actually, if we're going to do this, we probably want a pair of condensers. Because they run at half the time. This is going to be expensive, but we're going to come up with a good cure. So, the idea being, this will bring our concentration up to 14. Then we have to bring it all the way back down again. I don't know if this is worthwhile. Oh, wait, shit. Yeah, then we have to bring it all the way down to 6 to treat the angina. So it's going to go through the ionizer first. Which will actually, it'll drop it by 3, but it will also remove those side effects. So that'll be 14 down to 11. Um, and then another ionizer. Which will bring it down to a 8. It's got to go down to 6, so we may as well throw it through another ionizer. Well, actually, I'm not sure that's true. That's slightly more expensive, and it's going to be overkill. Because we're going to want to bring it back up after this. It's a lot of work making the perfect drug. Hopefully our clients appreciate it. So, one. Oops, that's not the one I want. Dissolver. Which is kind of inconvenient to place. We'll do that. So that's a six. Uh, at which point we run it through an ionizer, <laughs> which is this one here, to actually upgrade it to the next cure level. And then for angina, we want to bring it. So that'll drop it from a six down to a three. We want to give it at least three more to get it back into the active range. That's probably not even going to be a sweet spot, necessarily. I guess we'll run this for a while, and then analyze the output, and then figure out where the sweet spot will be, which is probably right in the middle of things. But there we go. Okay. This is really expensive. Again, research complete. As our research completes, though... Oh, that's the Desert Expedition. Um, yeah, I don't care about these, but more upgrades to make these processes cheaper would be very, very valuable. There we go. This brings down the processing cost considerably. Five bucks per. That is actually huge. Okay. And let me just pause here and confirm. This is now treating angina. We will want to increase its um, concentration at some point to make it active, obviously. But I want to go and find out exactly where we want to have it to. Luckily, there's lots of room left, so we don't have to use... Um, we actually didn't have to use this many ionizers this time. We could have used more dissolvers. I mean, we need that ionizer, but these two could have just been six dissolvers, potentially. Still, that's going to be okay. So we're still waiting on the autoclave, right? God, it's coming, though. It's coming. Um, may as well do a level of that. We only have the one shaker, but we might end up using more depending on how many super advanced cures we end up going for. So I like, it looks like it keeps trying like different values. Or no, it's just showing the current concentration, never mind. So, but the only thing left on here is treat Sangina. Doesn't even have the chance of reactivating a side effect. Analysis complete. Okay. All right. So the sweet spot we've got there. Excellent. Grab you. 
and stick you over there so I can track you. Okay, so we want to bring you to a 7. So we just need to add plus 4, and we can do that by running you through a variety of evaporators. That's 1, and 2, and 3, and 4, and then we don't have to worry about you know, pills. Where's the pill packer? Didn't we? Yeah, here it is. Multiple identical finished products into a box, which can then be exported. Uh, I think this lets you use one export faster. So, right, because I think you take two pills, put them into a box that's worth just twice as much, and you need, you'll need one export. So one of the things you could do is when you've got a spot with, say, like, you know, like here, we could have two identical lines, input, input, make the same product, and then both ship them out there at a higher volume. So it's not something we need right now. So, pill printers. Like that. So, you go in there, to there, to there, to there, and there, and like that. Okay. And I like how the colors just like slightly change as you change the concentration. It's a five. And it's not still track the same one. A six, and then it'll be a seven right here, which is the actual sweet spot for angina. Turn to pills and ship it out. And then keep trying to get some more discounts on some things. Product name required. Boom! This is gonna be the well, angina relief, I guess it's fine. Now, hold on. Oh, I can't I can't use home and stuff. Super mega no more chest hurties. Boom. Marketing. Research complete. Autoclave. Nice. Um, we might have these guys just sitting idle for a little while. Get me a bunch of upgrade points. Honestly, I don't know how much is left to unlock. Um, sure. For the sake event. of argument. Ooh. Fewer people need stroke medication. Okay. But yeah, we'll mostly just queue up a bunch of upgrade points. Um, which, let's get a slightly cheaper ionizer. Cheaper multi-mixer. There we go. Just spread the love around. Meanwhile, ingredients, we can explore there. Oh, I need a second explore. Find some more stuff for me. All right. Um... So, the Super Mega, oh look at this, Dry Dreaming Bustles now has an A rating, freaking phenomenal, no side effects, and literally in the max concentration. In fact, this should get to an S, or S+, plus, I think is actually the highest rating, if we give it enough time. I don't know what the current demand for Alleviates Insomnia is, 94%, so it has dropped a bit because we are supplying the market with it, and some people are actually being cured. Wow, I Dream of Bustles is actually curing some people, as opposed to just treating some. Well, I mean, I suppose that helps give it the higher rating, but it does, you know, curing people, bad, in a sense, because we have fewer people. So we have oh, so many things we can use for preventing gout and diabetes. Like, we've actually unlocked some medicine for this. Preventing gout over here, which is something we can look into. This is nuts! How's my uh, profit margin? It's getting there. Okay, anyway, we've got our autoclave. So... Which we need to transform, or yeah. It's gonna have the concentration and also remove some bad stuff. So, unpause. Okay, and there it is. Wait, it didn't? <gasps> no, it's because it's got to be, oh, hold on. We got to drop it down to 18 first, then autoclave it. No problem. So we need a pair of dissolvers. Um, 
Why are dissolvers so hard to work with? They're very inconvenient. So that drops it down to 18. And see, and this is like... Uh, it's all very inconveniently placed now. And then where's our pill thing going to be? Well, we only need one pill thing on this line, actually. Because our line's only moving at half speed. That brings it down to 18. This will bring it down to 9. But that's not low enough. That is not low enough. Hmm. Okay, I can, uh, what can I do? I can move you a little further over this way. I suppose instead of using two ionizers, I could use, or sorry, instead of two dissolvers, I could just use one ionizer. like that sort of brings things one lower than it needs to be but that's an option oh and you have like okay I guess that's fine so this will bring us down to 17 this will have it down to I don't know what actually and then we need to drop it like crazy again which I'm honestly not sure we're going to use these dissolvers. I think we're going to use the ionizers just because of space concerns. Oh, well, this thing has spent, it cost us so much money. Right? It's at 17. Yes, autoclave it. Remove that and drop it considerably. And so currently we are at an 8. We need to be at a 4. So, if we're concerned about space, which I am, I guess what I'll do is I'll use one of these. And then one ionizer. So we can do that, into that, into one pill printer. Like that. Right? I think so. That was dry mouth. There we go. Perfect spot for reduces anxiety. A little bit of dry mouth. Can't get rid of it. And it's far from the sweet spot. So that's pretty good. Let's sell this thing. And again, a big bottleneck over here of stuff that we're not Product really using. Required. I mean, it doesn't cost us more, but just a lot of stuff sitting idle. The stress decreaser was stressful to make. Boom. But it should be really effective. A rating. Zero mouth dried. Yeah, very few mouths should be dried, and a lot of anxieties should be reduced. Profit should be huge. And now here, this profit, though, is not per month. Because sold per month is going to be very low on this product. Likewise here. We're not actually seeing, like, you know, sorting by total profit overall. The itchy eyes go away. I got rid of you because I was doing... Right, this one here. So let's get rid of you off the list. This one is actually has now equaled in profit of the other one. And again, we'll get better if its rating continues to improve. And as we continue to cheapen some of our processes.
Okay. Um, we are researching for that. We do have some uh, some in cheapeners over here, which I should use on. Um, it doesn't matter which. I think we're using a fair amount of grub. Some of it directly, and then some of it um, for its catalytic properties. So we may as well give it a little bit of a discount there. Whew. We're all right. Well, clearly I'm going to get the next objective. I think what we may do is just bring this uh, this thing to an end here. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the coverage of this game. It is a fun, fun puzzle game. Uh, drives me a little bit batty sometimes trying to sort everything out. But overall, it's so satisfying when you get things to work. And again, so, so much content. I'm probably going to be playing this quite a bit on my own. But I think we've sort of hit that point for the video. Maybe, I don't know, you guys let me know in the comments if you're still way, way, way into watching more of this. And maybe research you are. Research complete. Ooh, more research. Right, right, right. Plot development. And then that as well. And then I think that's all the research I can unlock. Yeah. Again, we are playing... This is one of the beginner levels where more, most of the stuff is locked away. Which is kind of nuts to consider. Insufficient upgrade points. Oh, I shouldn't be upgrading the creamer if I'm not using it. All right, we'll wait on that. Uh, let's do a let's do a save here. Doo -doo -doo. Game saved. And then I'm going to, if I do this, just bring me to the menu. Excellent. Technically completed that one. If we go to free build and just start that off. Hey, I don't think we'll have any opponents. Ah, first game including patents. Yes, patents are fun. That was the ones were disabled in the first setting. I just want to see what the research screen looks like in free play. There's a lot more stuff. Hadron colliders? Makes drugs super reactive. Collided drugs act as though they are at all concentrations simultaneously. All effects are active and the concentration components of reactions are satisfied. That's nuts. Atomics sequencer? Converts a drug into a molten plasma, which is then suspended by an array of high precision rapid electron. Allows you to directly specify the concentration within a set of fixed values. Holy cow, that's amazing. Ultraviolet cures, syringe injectors. The patents, right, which are important. Deep sea exploration, so you can find more bits and pieces. If we take a look at the ingredients list over here. Oh, in free play, I didn't realize you actually have unlimited money as well. Oh, and everything, a bunch of the ingredients are already unlocked. Now, are they the same? I don't think so. I'm pretty sure these are randomized every time you play. That's exactly what's going on here. Uh, I'm pretty confident. Let's well, let's start another one. Let's see if uh, isomerized acidophilia steam, which is a gout and pink and blue, is in the same game. Let's try it. Gout, pink, and blue in free build. Boom, 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 boom. Ingredients. Nope. There's a gout here. This one cures gout. It's still got a pink ring on it, but this one's got the green bar, and things are in slightly different amounts. Potentially, the sweet spot concentration is different as well. And that's the thing. Every time you play the game, it's going to give you a different set of stuff, which I think is awesome. Really, 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 really cool. See you next time, folks. Bye-bye.